एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई एम डॉक्टर नीलम टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकेंड ऑर्डर विद कॉन्स्टेंट कॉफिशियंस एंड इट्स सोल्यूशन so we will start today uh, with linear differential equation with constant coefficients before that let us try to find uh, write the general form of linear differential equation of second uh, order so as we have discussed in earlier videos that how to decide the order of a differential equation and its degree so here we are bothered about only the order of the differential equation degree has to be one only for more detail you can refer to the book from s chand publishing which is the uh, details are given on this side and a link is given in the description box so you can click the link and get the book so a linear differential equation so linear differential equation of second order so general form of linear differential equation of second order can be written as a not double derivative of y plus a1 single derivative of y a2 y is equals to some rx now here we are not putting any restriction on this a not a1 and a2 since the highest order derivative involved is 2 therefore it is called second order differential equation and if it is a second order differential equation then a not cannot be zero because otherwise the order will be reduced now if a not is zero then only this will be called as second order differential equation next thing comes that what can we say about this a not a1 and a2 now here they can be function of x and they can be constant also all of them may be functions of x some may be functions of x and some may be constant and all may be constant if any of the a not a1 or a2 if they are functions of x if they are functions of x this differential equation will be called as differential second order differential equation which is linear in nature with variable coefficients remember this a not a1 a2 cannot be function of y either they may be constant or they may be function of x only because otherwise it will become non linear this we have already explained in our previous videos now if a not a1 a2 they are all constants they are all constants then this differential equation will be called as linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficients so when we are saying with constant coefficients we are talking about only this left hand side we are not talking about the right hand side when we are talking about the coefficients when we say coefficients coefficient means the coefficient of the dependent variable and its derivative so right side it may be function of x but a not a1 a2 that is the coefficient of the depending variable and its derivative they cannot be function of x or they has to they have to be constant then only this linear differential equation of second order will be called as linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficients so this will be our point of discussion that we will try to find out the solution of the linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficient so let us talk about the solution of this differential equation in our previous videos we said that solution of a differential equation is nothing but a relation between the dependent variable and the independent variable so we need to solve this differential equation to get the solution for this differential equation for where y may be written as a uh, sum of expressions in x right now so uh, when we talk about the solution then the solution of such differential equation 
will consist of two parts. One will be called as complementary function. Complementary function. This will be first part of the solution and second part of the solution will be called as particular integral. Particular integral. Okay, so we will discuss in detail uh, uh, in a uh, complementary function in today's video. So complementary function. Now, since it is a second order differential equation, therefore the complementary function the complementary function which can also be represented as CF complementary function, it involves arbitrary constant. It involves arbitrary constants. Now, what should be the number of arbitrary constants that are involved in the complementary function? There has to be only two arbitrary constant uh, for a second order differential equation because the order of the differential equation will decide the number of arbitrary constant the complementary function involves. Since it is a second order differential equation, therefore two arbitrary constants will be involved and let us say they are C1 and C2. So, C1 and C2 are the two arbitrary constant involved in the complementary function. Particular integral will be particular in nature and it will not uh, involve any arbitrary constant. So, that is one difference between complementary function and particular integral. Second difference is that complementary function is the solution corresponding to the homogeneous part of the differential equation. Though we have already discussed what is homogeneous differential equation in previous videos, but let me revise that. So, if a naught y double dash plus a1 y dash plus a2 y is equal to rx. So, if rx is 0, that is right hand side is 0, the differential equation then it, it is called homogeneous differential equation. homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients of course and if rx is not 0 that is it is a function of x or it may be constant also then the differential equation will be called as non-homogeneous then it is called non-homogeneous differential equation non-homogeneous linear differential equation. So, complementary function is the solution corresponding to the homogeneous part of the differential equation. So, complementary function is the solution corresponding to corresponding to the homogeneous differential equation, linear differential equation of course. Now, if the linear differential equation is given homogeneous, then fine, the solution will, the general solution will consist of only one part that is called complementary function. And if the given differential equation is not homogeneous, that is right side uh, is also, some terms are involved, uh, may be constant or may be function of x. Of course, they cannot, not, they cannot be functions of y. All the dependent variable has to be on the left hand side. So, if the given differential equation is of non-homogeneous type, then to get the complementary function part, we need to convert, we need to take the homogeneous part of the differential equation. We will find out the complementary function and then the solution will be written. So, the and while in particular integral, the solution will be corresponding to the non-homogeneous part that is if we compare it with this one. So, uh, particular integral will be the solution corresponding to this Rx and that is why it does not involve any arbitrary constant and therefore the general solution of a differential equation, general solution is sum of 
complementary function and particular integral particular integral and since the complementary function involves uh, two arbitrary constant for a second order linear differential equation therefore the final solution can be written as y x is equals to y c x plus y p x where the subscript stands for complementary function here and here it is it stands for the particular integral so we have understood that what do we mean by a general solution of a differential equation how many part it consists of and then we will be coming to the solution part of this that is we will learn the technique to find out the complementary function of a linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficients. So this is it for this part. We will continue in next part to get the solution of the complementary function. So for more details on the methods, you can refer to the book from Ishan Publishing, details of which are given in this portion and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video because we have studied a very complicated method in a very simplified way. So please do like, share and subscribe and press the notification bell for the notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.